give it up for Chris Beatty. Thank you. Oh, so nice. Very kind. Very nice. So kind. Very nice. Very nice of you to do that. Very nice applause. Very warm. Nice, warm uh, feeling uh, in uh, my bowels. I don't know. Uh, uh, whatever. Hey, my name's uh, Chris, uh, although over here I tend to be greeted with the ancient New Zealand name, uh, Chris. Uh, it's just lovely. Uh, I don't know what it means. Uh, it's very nice. I must Google it. Uh, really kind. Uh, as you can tell, uh, I'm from the UK. You can probably tell by uh, my desperation to be liked. Uh, I, um, I've lived here about uh, six years. I went back recently for a trip to the UK. It's very nice. Very nice to see uh, family and friends that I hadn't seen for a long time. While I was over there, it kind of uh, reminded me of that very sort of sad statistic that, that we have in New Zealand, I think, which is that one in five New Zealanders will never experience a decent broadband speed. <laughs> so <laughs> upsetting. Just, yeah, or a warm house. So sad. Such sad things. Uh, it's avocado season. Avocado season is coming. Is that exciting? Yeah. Only in New Zealand will there be a cheer for the avocado season. Uh, it's exciting. I love how uh, I love how the avocado is built in burger uh, posters. Have you seen that? If you go to Burger Fuel or whatever, it's always the smashed avocado. Have you seen that? It's the in thing at the moment. It's the smashed avocado. 100% prime beef with smashed avocado. That's such a Kiwi male thing. Thing to do to an avocado, isn't it? Yeah, we're going to slice it up? No, we're going to smash the avocado. We're going to hit it with a hammer, put it in a rugby ruck. That's what we're going to do. I'm just kind of wondering what the future of the New Zealand burger is, like a 100% prime beef, beef burger with macheted lettuce, yeah, <laughs> mutilated onion rings. We've run over the burger buns with a motorbike. <laughs> We'll uh, uh, supersize your meal today and we'll verbally abuse the mayonnaise. <laughs> Something like that. Uh, I've lived here six years now and uh, I'm close to being able to become a New Zealand citizen. That would be very nice, wouldn't it? To become. Yeah, thanks. That's very, very welcoming. A bit forced, a bit contrived. But thank you very much. And uh, no, that's very kind of you. Um, the weird thing about it is that I would have to go to a ceremony. I would have to, like, say my. Uh, like a like an affirmation of allegiance. Put my hand up or, I don't know, put it on a book or I don't know what I have to do. But I would have to, I would have to, I would have to uh, swear allegiance to the Queen, which is strange for me because I grew up 40 miles from the Queen. You know, we share the same nationality. We could have gone to the same fox hunting academy. You know, and we've got a lot in common. We both like a bit of swan. Uh, to eat on a Sunday. It's very nice. But it feels weird to go from the UK and then to go to New Zealand to, to swear allegiance. I kind of feel like I've moved out of my mum and dad's house, but they're making me take a DNA test to prove that I'm theirs. It's kind of weird. And the odd thing about it is that when I say this affirmation, the words are, I have to say that I affirm that I will be faithful and bear true allegiance to Her Majesty the Queen of England. But the faithful bit kind of gets me. Like, I don't understand why the Queen is paranoid that I'm going to cheat on her. Because <laughs> like, she's the one who never calls me. So, uh, I think we had this earlier on. Who's from Wellington? Who's, who's actually from Wellington? Can we get a cheer? For yeah, good on you. Good, because I've got something to tell you. Wellingtonians, I'm going to tell you this because I know you don't know this about yourselves. Wellingtonians, you're the only people in the world who know or care which way the wind blows. But that's, and I'm here to tell you that that isn't normal. Other people don't do that in the world. You guys are like, that's a southerly today. Yes, tomorrow. Tomorrow I think it's going to be a northwesterly, isn't it, Jeff? I think it is. Like, that's not a normal thing. Like, normally it's just like you just say it's just windy or it's not windy. But I, my, it kind of makes me wonder, because I didn't grow up here, but I kind of imagine all you guys, like, it's Christmas, you run down in your pyjamas, the Christmas tree's there, you open your present, you unwrap the wrapping, and, oh, Mum, Dad, Santa got me a barometer. Oh, <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> That's all from me. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much. I've been Chris Beatty. <laughs> I can never work out why you have the 
the most amazing rugby team in the world and they get so much criticism every single time on the radio. I think that's the funniest thing about New Zealand. <laughs> like, it's the problem that everyone wants. Uh, I love that. Like, you win, like, 67-0 and you're like, yeah, some real problems in the midfield. I just, that's, that, I'd love that problem. <laughs>